Welcome to DSNews.com. I'm Carrie Bay, and this is your top default servicing news for the weekend. Over the life of the government's Home Affordable Modification Program, one and a quarter million homeowners have received permanent HAMP modifications. 27% of those have later redefaulted, according to the TARP Special Inspector General's quarterly report to Congress. The Inspector General expressed concern as far back as April that HAMP redefaults were increasing at a, quote, alarming rate. The Special Inspector General for the Troubled Asset Relief Program said, quote, the longer a homeowner remains in HAMP, the more likely he or she is to redefault out of the program, often into a less advantageous private sector modification or even worse, into foreclosure, end quote. The redefault rate among the oldest HAMP modifications is 48.3 percent. Senate Republicans this week blocked a vote on the nomination of Representative Mel Watt to head up the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Watt's proponents say the former real estate lawyer would support stronger consumer protections and homeowners' rights. Others, though, including Ed Delgado, CEO of DS News' parent company, say acting director Ed DeMarco has dutifully protected taxpayers, pursued policies that promote a healthy housing economy, and should get the nod for the director's spot. For more on these stories and all your latest industry headlines, be sure to check out our extended coverage here on the site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Monday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.